not sure what Henri Chatillon or Alexander de Menil would make of a raucous jazz festival coming to Cherokee Street, but I think Billy Lump would approve because, after all, that lager beer fueled so many footsteps on so many dance halls across this city, and he built that brick smokestack reaching up high like a note coming out of a saxophone trying to tickle the ear of the gods themselves. My goodness. I think Cherokee Street's made for jazz. The Cherokee Street Jazz Crawl will showcase some of St. Louis's best jazz bands in one centralized location. Free and open to the public, the Jazz Crawl will allow locals and visitors alike to explore Cherokee Street and listen to great music in one of the city's most unique neighborhoods. St. Louis has a long tradition of uh, music and uh, creativity all the way back to the ragtime days through jazz and blues. Um, the list of, of artists from St. Louis is huge. Got Scott Joplin, Louis Chauvin, and Charles Thompson coming out of the ragtime era. Victoria Spivey, Josephine Baker, Eva Taylor, Eva Johnson, Luella Miller, Bonnie Johnson, uh, Floyd Smith, Dewey Jackson, Charlie Kretz, Jazzomaniacs, Fate Marable, James Jeters, Hayes Pillars, Sonny Boy, Silver Cloud, Petey Wheatstraw, the Dixie Stompers, uh, Cliff Edwards, Ukulele Ike, there was uh, Frank Trumbauer and Bix Beiderbecki, Pee Wee Russell, Miles Davis, Clark Terry, Tab Smith, Tommy Dean, Pop Eggshell, Dudlow Joe, and Ike Rogers, who played the trombone well before Charlie Hollering. jazz bands up and down all of Cherokee Street is going to be amazing. There's already so many things going on on that street and uh, the whole Nevermore Jazz Ball is going to be going on at the same time on Cherokee Street. So people will get just an amazing idea of maybe what it was like back in the day and even how it could be right now. So there's just a lot of great bands in St. Louis that need to be known about and I think that people really want to hear it. Do you like jazz? <laughs> The Cherokee Street Jazz Crawl is going to do two things. It's going to showcase our awesome local jazz musicians and also give people inside our unique restaurants, shops, and art galleries all up and down Cherokee Street. Arguably the best jazz musician who ever lived, Miles Davis, was from East St. Louis. He's the undisputed king of cool. And the undisputed king of cool streets in this city is Cherokee Street. And so it's a no-brainer that with the abundance of awesome spaces and venues and creative people on the street, that the Jazz Festival would come to Cherokee. Within the Confluence City, Cherokee Street is the Confluence Street. 